All right, guys. So today I'm doing a Q and A. But uh, before I jump into this Q and A, I gotta go do some errands, uh, pay off some things, and switch to a new gym because my old gym sucks. So once I finish all that, I'll be doing my Q and A today. And right now, I'm uploading a new video. So this will either be out today or tomorrow, and then the Q and A will be out Monday for sure. Because I don't know why it's taking a while. I just got a new Wi-Fi, but it's just an hour remaining. I don't know if that takes the same for you guys. But I was like, what the hell? <laughs> But anyways, uh, I'll be doing the Q&A when I get back, so I'm going to probably need some more questions. I'm going to have to post on Instagram real quick, so we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, so before I jump into this q and I'm going to a car meet with Vesta K Bacon. It was a last minute meet, so we're going to head out right now, and once this meet's over, I'll do my Q&A either tomorrow, so we'll jump on it when we get over there. What's up guys? I'm here with Jordan and me asking her to come with them at a late minute meet. What time is it? It's like 8 already? The meet doesn't start till 9. And it just got posted today, so we're gonna be on our way over there right now. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's dip. Look, he's, he's sneaking up on him, dude. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright guys, so the car meet was lit. Uh, well, kind of, but uh, I'm already home, just chilling. I'm going to show you guys a little preview of what I did on the way home, and I'm going to post a full clip on here if I can get it off my phone, but here it is. Focus, focus. Alright, so that's all I'm gonna show. There was a lot more. I have a way better video, so I'm gonna probably I'm gonna try to get it onto my Mac if I can, so that we guys can see. The flames got bigger, two step is bigger, so now we just wait for the show in March with uh, Tina Tokyo. Gonna try to win the best V8 class on two stepping, so let's go. Alright guys, we're out here in Tehachapi, which is uh, almost three hours away from my house. Came to see the gender reveal of my sister's baby. Ended up being a girl. Kind of sad about that. Everyone on Snapchat thinks it's my kid, and I'm trolling them a little bit. So I'm starting off the Q&A right now because I need to get some sleep because we're heading back out tonight. And I have to help my brother drive. So the first question is, were there any cars you were thinking of getting besides the Mustang? Um, I had originally had a 2015 Honda Civic Si and uh, my brother had a Mustang and he let me drive and I fell in love with it. It was, um, that was not looking towards any other car, like it was between a Z or a Mustang and I obviously did not want a V6 because I would lose to a lot of cars. So I went with the V8 Mustang and there was no other car in my mind because the Mustang is a beast. <laughs> Alright, next question, um, Hellcat Charger or GT500? That's a hard one because I've driven a Hellcat and I've driven a Shelby. So I don't know, but right now I'm leaning towards a Hellcat. But the GT500 is a beauty. But I think the Hellcat has my heart for right now. Alright, next question is, uh, why bacon? Bacon stands for uh, money. So like, bacon squad equals money squad, basically. Um, we basically like to grind a lot and just have our dream things at a young age while working towards them. And it's something my friend Josh started back in uh, middle school or the beginning of high school. And I was a part of it because I thought it was stupid. Like, he was McLaren Bacon, my friend was Camaro Bacon, I was just like, Pumpkin King SI when I had my Honda. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to join the Bacon. Then I got the Mustang, and then I joined, and like, they got all happy. So that's where Bacon came from. <laughs> Someone asked me, was that yogurt worth the wait? Uh, I got free yogurt at Yogurtland. They had a thing going on, and yes, it was worth the wait because it was good. And I'm not saying this one. What is it? I'll let you read it, that way you could see. Yeah, I can't say that on you too. Yeah. So I'm skipping this one. Uh, is your Mustang an EcoBoost V6? Yes, it's um, all engines. The four-cylinder V6, V8, I'll call it... I don't know what to call it, actually, never mind. It's all engines. Um, why is your name Mustang Bacon? Always wondered about that bacon part. I just said it. Uh, Mustang Bacon just originally came from the Bacon team, which is my friend's. So yeah, that's why I'm considered Mustang Bacon. Um, someone else asked, why... What? <laughs> they asked me, why are you so cute? It's a Mustang guy. I don't, I don't, I don't know that one. Um, how bomb was that free yogurt you got from Yogurt Land? <laughs> it was amazing. God. Um, why are you dating NA? Um, long story. I'll save that for another video, but... Just, she's an amazing person, so we'll, we'll skip that question for right now. Oh, God. Okay, what was your first car? My first car was a 2015 Honda Civic Si. It was orange like my Mustang. Orange will be my theme for every car I get. Um, when are you going to make a video with Ene? Um, that, will, that will be coming soon. I'm planning to do a prank video, or I'm asking her to prom um, in a cool way, so I'm going to probably get that for YouTube. I'm not sure yet. And how many how many siblings do you have? It's me, 
my two older brothers and my two sisters. So a total of us, a total of us is five. So five of us. Um, Ford, Chevy, or Dodge? Ford. Well, your Mustang be supercharged at any point. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. Because, I, like I said, I, I think I pay, we finished paying it off next year. And uh, I do want a GTR that has been my dream car forever. And I have a feel, with, the G, with the boost on a Mustang, it's eight grand. Plus to rebuild everything with everything, suspension work, etc. It's going to be a total of like 12, 13, 14 grand maybe. That's a down payment towards my new car or modifications towards the new car I want. So, um, no, I did not see myself boosting the Mustang anymore, but I do see me going a little bit more wide body ish, a little, just no more, no more power. Cause like there's, I mean, I don't really want to boost cause like I don't have the money for that right now. And I prefer a GTR, like I said. So next question, um, from your experience, would you recommend buying a GT and building it? And was it worth it? Um, yes, I do recommend buying I would recommend buying a GT Mustang GT and was it worth building it? Yes, it was cause it was an amazing process to see it come from nothing to something from me dreaming of having my special trunk to a GT350 bumper to full bolt-ons and everything so yes it was really worth it because um, I always told myself I wanted to have the Mustang built within a year and I did but um, exterior wise that took another year so yeah it was really worth it it was a fun process <laughs> Um, next question, next question, what are you going to do for smog when that time comes around? I have people for that, so I'm chilling. Alright, um, does shooting flames mess up your mufflers after a while? Um, yes and no. Yes, because my massive flames, it, um, tends to ruin the muffler. So kind of, but at the same time, like, Borla has been handling great. My Corsa exhaust went to shit within, like, Three months of me backfiring, Bor Borla's doing pretty good. So, I recommend Borla. Um, do you see yourself doing YouTube for a while? Um, yes and no. Yes, because it's my dream to become famous on YouTube. And no, because I'm running out of ideas. It's hard. And I can see why YouTubers struggle. I thought it was going to be easy, but hell no, it is not. Like Ideas are hard to come by. Um, if you made it big, what would be the first car you would buy? GTR. GTR, and I would build it. I mean, I'm not going to be any, like any other basic YouTuber out there just fucking puts an exhaust. Look, I'm going to go all out, wide body kit, bigger boost, everything, like everything. Or uh, something that a lot of YouTubers don't have, which would be um, an R34 or a C63 AMG. Because you don't see that many. And the last question is... If you pulled a breakup prank on your girlfriend, would she leave? We talked about this, and uh, we decided not to go there, not to do cheating pranks or anything, because we were both crazy. <laughs> so if she does that, like I'll most likely kill her. And if she, if I did that to her, she'll most likely kill me. So we just both agreed not to do that to each other. We could prank each other any other way besides that one. And that's the end of the questions. I didn't get asked a lot because it was last minute. But... This is the end of the video. This will be going up hopefully, what's today? Friday? Mm -hmm. um, it'll probably be going up tomorrow or Sunday morning. So make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and give me ideas because I need your guys' help. Thank you.